Seth, thank you all for subscribing. As a reward, you can now see me. Glorious, isn't it? We are not going to talk about how to make improvised explosives now, and we are not going to talk about stupid government propaganda. Today we are talking about the EU, European Union, Union Européenne, for I don't know why I said it in French. Yes, I have a little piece of paper with some bull bullet points on it, so that I sh will attempt not to say erm too much because, well, I'm way too lazy to edit that out. I hope you like my beautiful, beautiful face. Yes, EU, the military evil that plagues Europe today. So, as you all know, a vast amount of EU members are in the NATO alliance. Uh, also called the North Atlantic Terrorist Organization. Uh, this is, in my opinion, a major problem for the people of EU and for the EU itself. EU members, when they join, they also sign military co cooperation with each other. So, for example, Austria, who is forbidden from being a member of any uh, military alliance, uh, for the Austrian uh, state treaty uh, signed after World War II is a member of the EU. Therefore, Austria is obliged to protect any other EU member from attack and, or, and help them out in a case of war. And since a lot of them are uh, NATO members, that means all non-NATO members of the EU are pulled into any senseless NATO war the terrorist organization starts. Again. Again. Now, in my opinion, what should happen is that the EU should be neutral. We should not partake in military expeditions of the United States and we should have an EU alliance, but all EU members should be forbidden from entering any external alliances, including you, UK. Uh, where was I? I was Yes, we are basically a colony of NATO. Now, EU members if they, if, uh, should uh, exit NATO including Slovenia, including UK, if we want to survive as a healthy union, we must cut ties with NATO, the terrorist organization of North Atlantic. Now, another problem that plagues our crumbling union, yes, let's call it that, is Germany. Now, we all know that the Germans tried to rule Europe many times. So let's go back. They started World War II. They were completely responsible for World War I. Their um, involvement in the 100 year war was tremendous. They basically put fuel on fire just because they like war. This, of course, can be explained through history of the being Prussians and Prussian war princes and all that, but still. The Germans are a bloodthirsty nation. And for one thing, the two Germanies should never have been allowed to unify. That was a crime against history. You hear me? A crime against history. And now we have this extremely strong Germany in the middle of Europe, taking part in military expeditions around the world and also on the European continent, and yet nobody stops them. Not only this, they also are very, very well versed in bullying other EU members into doing what they want. For example, now that the Visegrad group is uh, trying to pass um, stricter border regulations due to the re refugee crisis 
basically they want to close their borders uh, and um, become sort of a semi-permeable member membrane of the EU and they will they do and will refuse to accept refugees from Germany basically Merkel went on uh, try, uh, on the television saying that what they are doing is wrong well sorry Mama Merkel but it's democracy look they voted for idiots uh, you know, not complete idiots I mean you should protect your country and you have every right to do so but look they voted for them and that's the government they have now in Poland in any way you do not control what the country does within its borders we still are sovereign nations within the EU yes uh, and the the German economic power and their economic grip over the EU is tremendous now for example the South Stream that was planned over the Balkans to bring gas in from Russia they deliberately ruined it while they have an exception from EU law for their Russian gas line they just couldn't give it to the Balkan states well because they're Germany and they want all the gas for themselves speaking of Russia we EU European nations we are basically we are on the same continent as our Russian brothers but we are not on the same continent as the incompetent religious nuts that rule the United States let me remind you who settled that country it was Puritans and other nut jobs that were not wanted here they basically went over there and started their own country now let them have their country but do not let them get involved in our matters anyway Russia Russia is our in my opinion our last hope if we granted that Putin is not a great leader for his nation he's a strong leader for the country but the, the nation uh, and the hospitals and, and anything public so it's it, the social state in Russia it's really nothing it's even worse than here in Slovenia but still we need a strong country to help develop the EU Russia has gas EU needs gas we run on Russian gas Russia is a extremely large market all the outdated cars that can no longer be sold in the EU can be freely sold in Russia for God's sake, they produced the same car without any changes for 40 years and it was still selling a few years ago. They, and they added an airbag, one airbag to the Lada Niva. Yes, Russia is in many ways awesome. And EU should make closer ties with Russia. Especially we, the Slavs in Europe we should pressure the Germanic tribes that currently rule the EU to build closer ties with Russia if nothing else if, no, sorry, if everything else fails the Slavon nations of Europe should cut their ties with EU and form a union with our brothers in the Russian Federation. I think this will be all now. And one advice to the nation of Serbia do not, I repeat, do not enter the European Union, whatever you do. You are a sovereign nation now, and you should stay a sovereign nation. Thank you.